This is a hydrogen atom, and it is absolutely small. So small that it's not even microscopic. Unless we're talking about electron microscopes, which can magnify even the smallest of things. This is a water molecule. It is also too small to be microscopic. This is an adenovirus, the smallest of its kind. And it is also not microscopic. This is megavirus. And you guessed it, it is also not microscopic. This is a red blood cell, our first truly microscopic object on this list. This is a grain of sand, numbering a mind-boggling 7.5 quintillion on our planet. This is a water drop. Water is the only substance on Earth that naturally exists in all three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. This is a ladybug. They are often considered a symbol of good luck. This is a tree frog, which spends a majority portion of its lifespan in, well, obviously, the trees. This is a chameleon. They have really long tongues that can be up to 1.5 times their length. This is a dog. They are known for their loyalty, intelligence, and versatility. This is a human. Soon, we will come to realize our insignificance amidst the vast expanse of the universe. This is a giraffe. It is the tallest land animal on the planet. This is the space shuttle. Eventually retired in 2011, it was one of the main transportation vehicles between Earth and space. This is the Saturn V. At 110 meters, it is almost double the height of the space shuttle. This is the Eiffel Tower. It comes in at 330 meters, almost three times as tall as the Saturn V. This is the Burj Khalifa. It is currently the tallest building in the world. At 830 meters, it is over half a mile tall. This is Mount Fuji. Coming in at just over 3,700 meters, Mount Fuji is tall, but not that tall. This is Mount Everest. At 8,849 meters, Everest is not only the tallest mountain, but also the tallest object above sea level on Earth. But we are looking for bigger objects, I mean, bigger. So let's get out of our lovely planet. This is Deimos, smallest satellite of Mars. I mean, it's big but not that big. Watch this. This is Mimas, satellite of Saturn. It is almost 32 times bigger than the Deimos. But even Mimas is too tiny for us. This is Ceres. Located in the asteroid belt, Cirrus is over 940 kilometers in diameter. But it's not the biggest dwarf planet. This is Pluto. At 2,376 kilometers in diameter, Pluto is the largest of all the dwarf planets. This is the Moon. At 3,475 kilometers in diameter, the moon is not even double the size of Pluto. This is Mercury, the smallest major planet. At 4,880 kilometers in diameter, Mercury is just barely over twice the size of Pluto. This is Mars, the second smallest major planet. Mars is only 6,780 kilometers in diameter, making it just a bit bigger than the Mercury. This is Venus. Coming in at over 12,000 kilometers, Venus is just a bit smaller than the Earth. This is the Earth, our home. At 12,742 kilometers in diameter, Earth is the fourth smallest planet in the solar system. This is Neptune. At over 49,000 kilometers in diameter, Neptune is the smallest gas planet, and also the coldest major planet. This is Uranus, just a bit larger than Neptune. This is Saturn. Coming in at 120,536 kilometers in diameter, Saturn is the second largest planet. And no, we're measuring the planet itself, not the rings. This is Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system with a diameter of 139,820 kilometers. But there's something bigger in the solar system. This is the Sun. At 1,391,016 kilometers in diameter, the Sun is the largest object in the solar system and is over 10 times larger than Jupiter. The Sun is so big that it makes up 99.86% of the mass of our entire solar system. 
The Jupiter that is almost 11 times bigger than the Earth makes up less than 0.1% of the solar system's mass. This is Sirius A, at nearly 2.4 million kilometers in diameter. Sirius is seriously big, but not too big. As I told you, we are looking for bigger objects, so let's bypass the smaller stars and black holes for now. Remember, you can view the full comparison without exclusions in a separate video linked in the description below. This is Rigel, one of the brightest stars in the sky. At nearly 110 million kilometers in diameter, Rigel is almost 79 times larger than our Sun. But it's actually still a pretty small star. Let's go bigger. This is Betelgeuse. At only 1.2 billion kilometers in diameter, Betelgeuse is the 10th brightest star in the night sky. This is Stevenson 218, or Stevenson 2 DFK1 to be precise. Coming in at 3 billion kilometers in diameter, Stevenson 218 is the current record holder for the largest known star. This is NGC 1600, at 100 billion kilometers in diameter. NGC 1600 is one of the largest black holes ever known, but not the largest. This is Tun 618. At almost 395 billion kilometers in diameter, Tun 618 is the largest black hole ever confirmed. This is Phoenix A, reported at 620 billion kilometers in diameter. Phoenix A is nearly two times larger than Tun 618 but it is not officially confirmed because it is larger than what is predicted by current models of black hole growth and can be unreliable. These numbers are mind-blowing, but remember, we are looking for bigger objects. I mean, bigger. This is the Milky Way where we are. At over 105,000 light years in diameter, our galaxy is actually still a pretty small one. This is Andromeda Galaxy at over 220,000 light years in diameter, Andromeda is approximately 2.5 million years away from Earth and is visible without any special equipment from Earth's northern hemisphere. But, let's go bigger. Meet the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. With a length of 10 billion light years, this is the largest known structure in the observable universe. So, we are left with only one thing bigger, the observable universe itself. At approximately 93 billion light years in diameter, the observable universe is pretty big, I mean insanely massive. But the thing we all must focus on is the word observable. This is only the observable universe. The question we must ask is, what lies beyond our comprehension?